Achilles tendon ruptures today or an Achilles tendon tear as it's frequently known. Um, so the Achilles tendon, as you may or may not know, is a very strong tendon that connects your calf muscle to the back of your heel. So if you turn your, uh, turn your attention to your calf, grab your calf muscle and feel it go down to your heel bone, you'll feel a thick fibrous structure. That's your Achilles tendon. The most common area to rupture the Achilles tendon is about four to five centimeters above the attachment into the heel bone. Now the reason for this is that is the area where the blood flow is the worst um, to the Achilles tendon. Um, the Achilles tendon takes a tremendous amount of force and pressure with every step that you take and if you're actively running or exercising you're going to put even more force through that tendon. Um, and it is not uncommon to have your Achilles tendon rupture. As you know, Kobe Bryant went through this recently. Many professional athletes will have their tendons just snap when they're, middle, when they're in the middle of uh, running or jumping or doing whatever it is they do. Um, however, this is something that happens to um, the weekend warrior as well. The guy that's out playing softball, running the bases, or decides to go play pickup basketball, or even just doing some sprints to get back into shape. So it can happen to anybody with a sharp, sudden movement. Things you look for to, to know if you've just strained your Achilles or you've torn your Achilles is typically people who have ruptured their Achilles tendon feel a sharp stabbing sensation. They describe it as somebody cutting them with a knife or putting an ice poker in the back of their calf. Um, and it's usually very sudden, usually going from a, a stop to a sudden movement where you will feel that. Um, one way to do a quick test is rub your finger along your tendon. If you can feel a little divot in the back of your tendon, there's a very good chance that it's torn. Um, squeezing your calf muscle, relaxing your foot. Um, sit, when you're sitting down, squeeze your calf muscle and see if your foot moves. If your foot does not contract or move with you squeezing your calf muscle, there's a good chance that you have ruptured your Achilles tendon. A good way to test this is actually laying on your stomach with your foot hanging off the edge of a table and letting someone else squeeze your calf and see if it moves or just laying down and comparing one side to the other. Frequently you can see it just by looking. You can see that one has an indentation and looks different than the other. Um, in any case, if you think you've ruptured your Achilles tendon, it's very important that you go in and get seen. This is a, a problem that needs to be surgically treated in most cases, though sometimes it does not require surgery, but it needs to be addressed quickly. It's not one of those problems that you want to sit home and throw some ice on it and give it you know, a week or two to, to try to get better. It's something that if you're having difficulty walking, you've got that sharp stabbing pain, uh, get in and see your doctor and uh, they'll identify the problem for you. So I hope that helps uh, understand Achilles tendons a little bit better.